The following is a public service announcement to all my fellow whiskey tubers and my fellow whiskey collectors, enthusiasts, and anyone who purchases whiskey or any other alcoholic beverage online. In June uh, 2020, as I was wrapping up my uh, series on uh, Isla Peated uh, Scotch whiskeys, I wanted to buy a bottle of the Boonhaven Moin uh, Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. So I searched online for a uh, retailer and came across a bottle that was available through Cass Cartel. So on June 8th, I ordered the Boonhaven Moin Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey from Cass Cartel and immediately received uh, an automated notice uh, that my order had been received. The following day, on June 9th, I received a confirmation of my order. Now, typically you make an order, it's gonna take a few weeks for it to get processed and to finally receive it. So on June 20th, I received a package. However, I received the wrong item. What came was a Bunahaven Twig Aga, however you wanna pronounce that, uh, Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. I immediately called to notify the seller, Cass Cartel, uh, that I had received the wrong item. I spent an hour online waiting to get through to someone and then eventually I gave up when it became clear that no one was ever gonna pick up the phone. I then sent an email notifying them that I had received the wrong item. On June 22nd, two days later, I received a response requiring that I prove that I received the wrong item and send pictures of photos of the bottle, the packaging, uh, the and so forth. So I sent them pictures of the bottle and the packaging. Now, I've been buying wine and whiskeys now for about 23 years. I've dealt with the Whiskey Exchange. Uh, K&L is one of my favorites here in California. They have a store in San Francisco, Redwood City, and Los Angeles. Probably, I would say, one of the best um, not only in terms of what they have available, but the best customer service I've ever um, uh, had. I've dealt with a lot of local shops, you know, mom and pop whiskey shops, even the big chain store, um, Total Wine and More. I would say whether it's been, you know, the, the various stores around the Bay Area or down in Texas, I've had nothing but just top of the line customer service immediately um, correcting the problem. You know. Errors happen, mistakes happen. You know, welcome to planet Earth, right? I don't expect perfection, but I do expect high quality uh, uh, customer service to remedy the problem. Anytime I've ever had a problem with, let's just take Total Wine and More or uh, K&L here in California, immediately, immediately they have given me a refund and um, corrected the problem uh, because Customer service has to be number one, and the time spent correcting an error can be uh, far uh, more expensive than the item you actually ordered, right? Uh, the goal of any business shouldn't be to get you as a customer, but to get you as a repeat customer, to come back and, and show a sense of loyalty uh, to those who are spending their hard money uh, on wines, whiskeys, beers, and whatever else. So I was really, really surprised that um, they were expecting me to send them pictures. Uh, couldn't they look into their customer base, see that I'd actually made an order? I mean, if I was gonna be a liar and fraud, all I have to do is pull some other bottle and say, yeah, this is what I got. Sending them pictures didn't prove anything because as you can see, I've got plenty of whiskeys here. I could have grabbed anything if I was gonna be a fraudulent and, and just lie to say, oh yeah, this is the bottle got, if I'm trying to rip them off. So telling me or requiring me to send them pictures like that, it basically are saying, yeah, we don't trust you as a customer and we think you're lying, so prove it. But even the requirement of proof was, was kind of uh, lame. Well, I then had a number of emails kind of going back and forth and I was really not getting any satisfaction uh, from these people and I wanted a bottle of the Bunhaman Moin because I was wrapping up my series on um, Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskies and I was gonna be hosting an event 
uh, in which I was going to be sharing whiskeys and I was actually getting paid to do that. So my time for that paid event was about $200 an hour. So any time that I am now putting into this to try to remedy the problem, if you count by hour by how much I am paid as an independent consultant or teacher or uh, instructor or anything else like that uh, in whiskey, and as far as I'm concerned, that's costing me $200 an hour. On June 29th, seven days later, uh, after a number of different emails, I'm trying to get things corrected, I mailed the Bunohama and took a, a ga back to them, but I had to pay $3 for the printing of the label to put on the package to send back to them uh, through uh, UPS. After sending them the package, sending them photos that I was returning the, uh, the package to them, sending them the evidence that this was indeed going out through UPS, I waited to hear a response from them and say, okay, we see that you're, we're receiving the package. We will now uh, see to it that you get the correct uh, bottle. Now, what I did know about Cast Cartel is they actually don't sell anything. They have people who uh, sell through them. When I was not getting a satisfactory uh, service, when I was not getting the response I wanted, I requested, well, who is the retailer? Let me go directly with them, we'll save a lot of time, save a lot of uh, effort, and we'll get the problem resolved. But they refused to let me know who the retailer was, who had actually made the mistake. So I had uh, shipped the bottle back on June 29th through UPS, sent them the photos of the receipt and the packaging and so forth on June 29th, but I waited to get a response on July 10th. By July 10th, I had not heard anything from them regarding a refund or the correct bottle being sent. So I sent them another email informing them, hey, I have not heard anything. I've not received a refund. I have not received uh, any notification that the correct bottle was being sent, I received absolutely no response. Now, as of July 13th, I still have not heard back from them. I called again and got the same uh, issue of being put on hold and waiting for an hour. I can't get through to them. So they're now, uh, as of this date, they are not responding via email. They are not uh, picking up the telephone. Um, this is really, really frustrating. From the time that I started in June 8th, all the way up to now, July 13th, we're getting close to an entire month when this whole ordeal started. Um, it has cost me, I would say, at least five hours of my time and, uh, in terms of wrapping up the package and going to UPS and standing in line uh, and getting things printed and time spent on, on uh, going back and forth with emails. All right, this has been a huge waste of my time, which is worth more than what that bottle is worth. Um, I know if I was dealing with Total Wine and more, if I was dealing with KNL, if I was dealing with the Whiskey Exchange, if I was dealing with any other, either if it, even if it's a, a, um, an auction house, um, Sc Scotch Whiskey Auctions, and there's some other auction houses that I've dealt with in, in Scotland and in England, and I get an immediate response. I have never ever seen this in my life. So um, at this point, I've kind of given up on ever hearing back from them and from ever getting the correct bottle. Uh, if I do get uh, finally get resolved, I'll put a comment down below and let you know the date that it got resolved. But at this point, I got to move on. I got other things to do, right? Uh, this has just been a huge waste of my time and really a whole lot of frustration. So. Um, I want to say to you, if you are a fellow whiskey tuber, do not, my advice is, based on my experience, do not purchase anything from Cass Cartel. If you're a whiskey enthusiast, a whiskey collector, do not buy anything from the Cass Cartel because I can't imagine that their service to you will be any better than uh, it has been with me. So I would also ask you, if you know other people who uh, like to buy online, or need to buy online due to the circumstances which you're in and you're searching around on the internet and you're looking for particular bottles, uh, let them know about my experience uh, that uh, they really should not trust Cast Cartel to be a reliable service for providing whiskeys. Again, uh, based on my experience, do not purchase anything uh, from Cast Cartel. All right, I hope uh, you never experience 
anything like this. If you, one of my viewers, have experienced anything like this, I'd like to know about it. I'd like to know about other um, middlemen, retailers, or so forth uh, that might otherwise, uh, or in a similar fashion, uh, have uh, the same problems of cash cartel. If you've had problems with cash cartel, I'd like to hear about that uh, as well. All right, that's it for this uh, video, and I hope you never experience uh, what I have with any other whiskey uh, retailer. Thank you.